Does upgrading your antennas really help your range with a DJI FPV? We're gonna have some answers finally coming right up. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Dorky M40 channel. I am Chad. Many of you have commented as far as what upgrades to do with the DJI FPV system. A lot of you said that you just use stock antennas, don't upgrade the antennas, so on and so forth. Well, I went ahead and upgraded the antennas. Sorry, but I needed to know for myself exactly what they would do. A lot of the antenna reviews I have seen are months old and they don't really show how much better you can get with 50 megabits per second now, how long it holds on to that range. I don't know, they're just kind of a hit and miss. I'm sure we'll get a few new ones now that the Axie patch is out, but uh, I've got something that I think is just the best antenna upgrade that you can get probably. Right there, VAS, the Mini Cyclops. So this is Alex's second rendition of his Cyclops array, which is basically two of the X airs in this whole configuration. So four patch antennas in a smaller thing. And it's also cheaper than buying two X airs. The only reason why I kind of wish I would have went with two X airs, but I would have had one here and one here, and I would have been able to let the antennas on my module. But you can see as of now, it's a really tight fit. And if I want to do analog, I'm going to have to go ahead and switch this to AVN. Go ahead and just undo the knurled nuts right there. And then I can just use a real rigid cable so you can kind of leave this just kind of hanging there. We'll see how it goes. I also went ahead and upgraded to the VAS Minion on there. 2.5 dB. Get it up high with this little mount here. It's funny how like the Source 1 has turned into like a little long range quad now, even at 5 inch. Not that you couldn't do that before with five inch, but now since I'm not carrying a GoPro, I got that antenna on there, the buzzer and everything. And if I just want to cruise, I can get an easy six, six and a half minutes worth of flight time. Now you can see I've also done a few upgrades to the goggles as well. I finally got that uh, real standard upgraded foam, which works perfect. So anybody watching this, get the upgraded phone, don't waste the seven bucks. Um, going with uh, the Furious FPV uh, new battery pack here with 18650s. It's working fine right now. Uh, we'll see how well that turns out in the future. And one thing that I definitely got that I thought was gonna be pretty helpful maybe is uh, this speedy beat adapter. So that way I can actually use the app on my phone to do tuning and everything like that outside in the field instead of a laptop and all that. Now, even though DJI has a lot of that stuff built into the OSD, this here, whoa, this here is gonna be pretty cool to play with. So maybe we'll talk about it on the channel as well. Last but not least, I thought it would be here today, but it didn't come in, but it is the four ride by Kebab FPV. So four inch, whoop board, Vista and Crossfire. That's it. Running the FPV cycle 2203 motors on 3S. Crazy. We're going back in time here again. Going back to 3S. I did go with the 3450 KV motors. So that way I can add 4S batteries and go to the Cinesplore if I want to. More to that soon. So let's take a look at this video footage here. And I'll kind of talk you guys through this here real quick. What I saw and how well these things actually are. So we're gonna go through a couple areas of my flight performance and usually back here along the back side of the house, you can see it kind of degrading there a little bit. Analog, I would get lots of static and gray out and stuff like that going on back through there. All kinds of good stuff. You can see really good and clear, obviously. This is with stock antennas that I was flying with this day. So. That right air there was a problem area, always with analog. We can talk more about that when we get into more of a regular type of review. So we're gonna fly all the way out back here into the corner of the field. And we're gonna kind of test things around. 
This is pretty low light at night, as you can see, and the image is really holding well together at 50 megabits a second. I was pretty surprised that uh, it wasn't as muddy as uh, I thought it would be. There's no upscaling or anything like that going on. This is straight from the goggles. I know some people like to upscale and re-render the footage. So we're going all the way out here. Now, as soon as I come to this line of trees, this is typically where the analog stuff would start breaking up as well. So, you know, it's 5.8, you can't defy physics. We're just basically transmitting a little bit differently. So at this point, I'm still trying to get used to how these goggles actually work. So my bars are dropping pretty much to like right about right here. I'm down to like one bar or like no bar, even though the image looked good and I'm not sure what the bit rate was, but you know, I definitely wanted to just turn around to keep it safe. Now it's kind of the same thing flying out to the opposite end of the field. This would be to the left when I am flying. And again, usually when I get to this tree line up here, my analog would just start to fall apart. DJI does the same thing as far as the signal. It degrades a little bit. I'm down to like one bar, maybe no bar. So I decide to turn around because I just do not want to push it. Today, got the antennas, everything hooked up and it just went for it. And this test here was at 700 milliwatts. I did a test at 1200 later on in the day which performed even better. But I was able to push right through this stuff, no problem. I think my signal might have dropped down to like one bar, I believe, um, but it wasn't that big of a deal. Or uh, later on that night, I was doing more flying around back in here, around these containers and stuff like that, and was getting my Signal going down a little bit, bit rate was falling pretty good, but I was didn't have any problems, no blackouts or freezes or nothing like that. Everything just held together really good. I was just pretty amazed on how this was working and just able to fly through the trees and everything like that without any issue at all. I did push my range out, I think to about 1.5 kilometers at about probably 25 to 30 feet off the deck. So I haven't done like a true range test yet, but I'm definitely just getting a way better performance with these antennas. And I'm pretty happy about that because I know a lot of people were um, kind of on the fence. So I was a little skeptical, but it all has definitely paid off. Now we're flying back to the right corner of that field where I turned around before about right here. This time it was just able to push through without any problem at all. You can see the image is holding together just fine. Signal started bouncing around a little bit. I am shooting through a lot of trees and I think like a hill and a house and everything at this point, but just went ahead and kind of just took it slow and wanted to see what I could do and turn around a little bit and all that kind of stuff just to make sure things was working. Didn't want to push it too far. Starting to just kind of like learn and get comfortable with everything. You know, we'll definitely have a more in-depth review about all of this stuff coming up. But for right now, I'm very happy with this setup. Everything is working fantastic and I appreciate all the questions and answers uh, that you guys have gave me. Hopefully this helps somebody out down the road. Thanks for stopping by and we will talk to you guys later.